Now, Yoel Diaz arrived in the United States in 2021 on a K-1 visa. Before that, he was a computer science teacher in Cuba, earning just $12 a month. He now has a YouTube channel with his wife, Marie, who is an American. The channel is about Diaz's appreciation for America and how blown away he is by even the smallest of luxuries here. Here's one of his recent videos from Fenway Park. Now, last month, Yoel Diaz uploaded this video showing his very first paycheck from his time in the United States. Pero prefiero esto que no Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro me ha quitado más. El comunismo me ha quitado más. Este es mi primer cheque por hora. Que tú sientes que cada hora de trabajo vale. Que, te, que cada hora de trabajo tiene una importancia en tu vida. Y, y que se lucha, que sabes que puedes luchar por algo. En Cuba no lo hay. Y aquí lo tengo la prueba. Yoel and Marissa Diaz join us now. Thank you both so much for being here. You know, it warms my heart to watch those videos um, and seeing the country through your eyes, especially because, you know, oftentimes on the news and in social media, we hear people complaining about a lot of things that probably seem silly to you, but really taking for granted our God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution. And so through your eyes, can you share with us what do those rights, what do those freedoms mean to you? First one, free speech. That was important for me. And, you know, the, the freedom of the dream, that's a, something I, I never have in my old country. Wow. Yeah, we can we can't in Cuba you can't, you know, dream uh to have better opportunities and of course Cuba is a, a communist dictatorship and freedom of speech is not allowed. Even us doing our content here risks us being going able to to Cuba to see our family again. I can only imagine what it means to you to be freed from the fear that you formerly felt and to be able to speak what's in your heart uh, here at home. What, what are the kinds of reactions that you're getting from people as you, as you do? You openly open your heart to other people. Well, we get a range of reactions, to be honest with you. We have you know, people who uh, don't like what we're saying about the Cuban government and communism in general. And then we have lots more people who really are receptive to, to the content because it resonates not only with uh, Americans, but also children of immigrants who can see their families in Yoel and immigrants themselves as well. So it's, it's a range of reactions, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool having that experience because when I, I always put in the, in the old video on talking to the American people because mm -hmm. when I come in here the first time, I, I saw something spiritual in free. When you see this and you come in with in my age of 38, I'm old, and you come in here, I say, wow, this is freedom. That's a free. And you say, wow, this American people is, appreciate that, need to appreciate that, because I never have exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I, I appreciate you sharing that reminder because you're exactly right. These freedoms are too often taken for granted, uh, but they are freedoms that we must all celebrate and do all that we can to protect. Thank you both Absolutely. so much for joining us. I wish you thank a wonderful day. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you, thank you, no, thank you as well. You. Yeah. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.